Hey guys, welcome to the much requested, much anticipated Gaja Float Mod video. Uh, I think I'm just going to start right showing you what it is. Uh, I don't have, since this is installed, I can't take it out and show it to you. But all the parts that I've got in it, I'm going to put in the description and you can check that out. Um, welcome if you're new here. Uh, there's the video that um, I talked about this mod in and uh, also showed you how to do uh, the dimmer switch mod. Been loving that, by the way, and I hope you guys have too. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here she is up kind of close. Uh, there you can see I've got a float valve in there and it's uh, coming out the back of the machine. I'm gonna turn the machine around so you can see. Go ahead and get all this stuff out of the way. There's where it comes out. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Okay. So what I've got is um, I've got this connected to my water that's running to my fridge. Uh, I'll show you how I've got that connected to. Um, anyways, the kit came with it came with this uh, shutoff valve. It came with uh, an elbow. Uh, it came with a T quarter inch quarter inch all the way around T. It came with a Three eighths to quarter inch adapter, and they're all these shark bite fittings. And then it also came with these little uh, tabs that you put in there, right there, like that. You just push it in right there so that the shark bite can't be disconnected. Um, yeah, so you might be wondering how I get the tank out of there to clean it, and it's pretty easy. I just use this shut off valve. Shut it off. Up this thingy out of here. Uh, let me get that under there. And pull this back. Oh gosh. And pop it out. There you go. Disconnected. And then. Turn this baby back around. And I slide my tank out like usual. Now, I didn't have this original idea. I saw a picture of a guy that did, uh, of a guy's mod that he did it before, and it looked like it would work. So I decided to do it myself, and it did. Um, so here we have the video on it. <laughs> okay, so you can see here, uh, I've got the, the valve in there. And I've got this little angle bracket that I bought on, uh, excuse me, at Menards. Uh, I just took some super glue, glued it right there. Um, I wanted to make sure that this would mount low enough so that this would have clearance on this part so it wouldn't be hitting that. So you'll need to make sure that's the case on yours. Um, just hold it up there, it's trial and error. Just make sure you get it right before you glue it. Then I held it there for, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then I let it set, didn't mess with it for a couple hours. Just let the glue set up. Uh, and then I attach this. Um, this has the, this is just the valve. This is attached directly to the valve right here. So I pushed it on, put that in there so it wouldn't disconnect. Then I put a small run right here, uh, pushed it in. Make sure that's pushed in really well because uh, if it's not, you'll have a leak. I, I did that at, at the very start. Uh, and then uh, then you can connect your your piece, your shutoff valve behind it. Um, I like the shutoff valve being right there so you can get to it pretty quick. Um, if you are going on a trip or something, I'd recommend shutting it off. You might shut it off every time you're done using it, I don't know, but um, it's up to you. Just I don't want a leak happening in your house. Uh, just make sure you keep an eye on that. Uh, shut it off if you're not comfortable. Yeah Okay, so here's a little tutorial on how I drilled my hole back there how I placed it all right, so You're gonna need a tape measure for this part 
and just a little bit of common sense. Uh, so you're going to measure from, since this is setting directly on this flat surface, uh, it's got nubs here. We don't even need to count for that. We just put our tape measure directly. Can't find it. All right. Put our tape measure directly on the flat surface, measure up to the center of this valve, or excuse me, elbow. Um, make sure it's straight on. And then you transfer that you measure from the flat surface down here, up, make a mark right at center. Um, and then for the uh, side to side, I measured, you can hold a, a flat, like a board or something up against here, measure over, push your tape measure into there, measure over to where this is, center of it, make sure again that it's lined up straight ahead. Uh, and then I did the same thing over here, measured from this flat part, not from the curve, from the flat part over. And there you go, where the two lines intersect, that's where you drill your hole. And I took a really small drill bit, 16th inch, drilled through that way, and then I did the rest of it from the back. Um, and I just started with a really small drill bit, worked my way up, or you can use a step drill bit, that's actually the better way. And doing it that way, you can put a chamfer on it, make it nice and smooth. This isn't as smooth um, as it would be if I had used a step drill bit. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it all back together and we're gonna show you behind my fridge what I got going on there. All right, we're going handheld on this one, so hopefully it doesn't suck, but I apologize. Uh, all right, so I have a quarter inch braided line coming. Now this is gonna be different for everybody. Everybody's situation is gonna be different. I don't know if you keep your gaja by the fridge. I don't know if you even have water running to your fridge, but this is my situation. This is how I did it. Hopefully it's gonna give you an idea how to deal with yours and it's really gonna be, have to be a uh, thing that you mostly figure out on your own. But this is how I did mine. So I've got that uh, quarter inch braided hose running to my fridge. Um, it attached there originally. Uh, so what I ended up doing was I went to Ace, the helpful place, and they really did help me out. Um, all right, he gave me a quarter inch brass fitting. Now these have uh, collets in them. I think they're called collets. Anyways, it's like a uh, uh, compression fitting, I think. Uh, you slide your, your tube in and then tighten it down on it and it uh, squeezes that collet and really clamps on it. Um, I had them cut me off. I, you have to buy this by the foot, but I bought a foot of copper uh, tubing and then I had them cut me off a couple of inch and a half-ish pieces. Uh, I shoved one end in there, tightened it down, and I shoved the shark bite on the other end, and that's how you get conversion from uh, something like that to something like this. Anyways, that was there's probably other methods to do this, um, but this is what I came up with, or he did help me out. Uh, and then I on the other side, because I needed something that threads could attach to and I could have quarter inch line coming off of, uh, so I took a 12 inch hose and then attach that back to there. So I just teed off of that. And then we've got the quarter inch hose that came with the uh, with the kit that I'm linking in the description. Uh, you're gonna have to buy one of these too. It's a shock block. I hadn't heard of it till this. Um, but it's got a max flow rate in this case of four gallons a minute. I want it to be uh, 40. PSI. I don't know what the uh, what it is coming right out of the line, but it's probably going to be somewhere around 80 PSI, and that's going to be too much. You don't want it blasting into your gaja, so you want a shock block to uh, to kill that pressure. Anyways, it's still. <laughs> I disconnected this end without shutting the uh, the shutoff valve back there off, but uh, uh, it still blasts out of there. But it's still a lot less than it was. Pretty much cuts it in half. So yeah, there you go guys. I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, any input at all, leave it down there. Um, and I'll reply to everybody, I think. Uh, I'm able to handle that. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, anything you want to see about this or any other Gaja mod or maybe something that you've thought of that you want me to try, uh, make a video on, let me know. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
By the way, guys, we broke 100 subscribers. What the heck? I didn't think I'd ever do that. Uh, I got an email from YouTube saying, congratulations, you broke 100 subscribers. I was like, what? I don't even know how that happened. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Uh, just keep subscribing if you want to, uh, if you want to see more stuff like this. Yeah. All right. See ya.